Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Maya Z rechargeable LED headlamp. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's get this open. Here we have a manual. Let's take a quick look at it. Here are some notes related to it. This talks about the different parts. So there's two buttons on it. There's a sensor mode switch and the basic mode switch, and it has the different LEDs. And we'll go over those in just a second. And this talks about the different features. And here on the back, we have the specs. Let's take a look at a couple of those. The charging port is USB type C. Charging time is three hours. Runtime depends on the mode you're using. This has eight basic lighting modes and four sensor modes. This also has a tail light with two modes on it. The bulb type is XPG and the waterproof rating is IPX4. So here are the different modes. So this has a spotlight and a floodlight and each of those has a low and a high mode. So that's four of the modes. Now you can also use the flood and the spot at the same time. Then it has a red light, a flashing red light and a red strobe. And then we have four sensor modes and for that we have the flood the spot and the combo light so those are three and the red light is the fourth and of course i'll demonstrate those modes so here's the angle adjustment so it can point straight out or it can tilt 90 degrees to point down and it charges with USB-C. so let's pull this out so we have a usb type c charge cable just a short one looks under a foot and here's the headlamp itself so we have elastic on the sides and top, we have the headlamp up front. In the back, we have the battery with the tail light. We have a little flap that can open here. We can plug that in, and this will charge with a USB charger. So you can use like a phone charger. So this one shows how many amps it's drawing. So it's drawing 0.67 amps. Now that can vary depending on the state of charge. We do have an indicator here. It's kind of hard to see on my camera. It's much easier to see in person, but this fourth LED is flashing, meaning it's filling up the last quarter of the battery. So there's a wire here that's coiled from the front to the back. So let's try the different modes. Now I'm showing these on my bench. I will show these in darkness here in a bit, but this will tilt down. So it has some little grooves there. It doesn't fully lock in place, but it has good friction and those grooves kind of keep it from moving. So we have two buttons on the top. We have the power and the sensor mode. Let's turn on the power. So I'll press this. And here we have that spotlight. And there's the spotlight low. Now you're going to see flickering on the screen. I don't see that in person. It's flickering too fast for the human eye. And here we have that flood high and flood low. And this is the combo. So we have the flood and the spot. And here we have red. Red's a great light to use at night to help from ruining your night vision. And here we have that red strobe and the red SOS. So I'll turn that off. Now I'll press the other one. So here we have that spotlight. Now if I wave my hand in front of it, it will turn it on or off. So if you're doing some activity with a group of people like camping or hiking and you need to turn to talk to them, you can blind them if you're wearing a headlamp. With this, you can wave your hand in front of your face and it will turn that spotlight off. You can talk to them turn back towards the trail, wave it, and it will turn back on. So that's the spot. We'll press it again. We have the flood. Turns on and off. This is the both. And this is red. Now that's off completely. Now let's go back to the main mode. Now to turn this off, you have to click this a bunch of times, which can get kind of tedious, but there's another trick you can do with it on. You just hold down the power, and after three seconds, it will turn off. That's a really nice feature. If you want to turn your light off quickly, you don't have to click through all those modes. Now, if there's a mode you use regularly, you can memorize the position of it, like the red light. I think it was five clicks. Let's try that. It was six clicks. So I know now that six clicks will turn the red light on. So let's turn the camera around. I'll show this on my head. Okay, so I'll put this on my head. We'll see how it fits. So it's a little bit loose right now. I'll pull the strap on this side. I'm holding it on this plastic part and I'll pull it down and then you can slide it along the front here till it's even. That's about even. That might be a little, that's probably about right actually. So this can point straight up and we can point it down. And I like that these buttons here, I can feel which one is which. So I can feel that the right one is the sensor one. Let's see if I can point at the camera. I can wave it and turn it on or off. And I can hold this one down for three seconds also to turn it off. So this is very comfortable. The strap is soft. Now I've seen some that will have foam here and it will get real nasty. This just has a strap so you could easily wash this off. So if you want to take this off, you can pull this through this little gap and take that strap off. And you can adjust the one that goes around and on top of the head. Now the back also has a light. I can press this to turn it on. Press it again for that flicker mode. 
So if you're running at night, you can have this flicker behind you and it'll make you more visible to things like automobiles. So I'm going to get this charged up, then I'll do a demonstration from around 10 foot away and then one from around 50 foot away. Okay, so I have the camera and the light around 10 foot from the wall. This is my projector wall, but let's turn the light on here. So this is the spotlight. So if you want to throw the light a long distance, you're going to use this light. So you can see it's real bright in the center and then it's kind of faded towards the edges a little bit. There's a couple rings there. And here's that spotlight on low. Now, if we want to look at something up close, we'll look at the floodlight and here's the floodlight. So I'm going to walk towards the screen. And there's a little bit of a spot there, but it's a more even light. So if you're camping and you're cooking dinner, you might use something like the floodlight. If you're looking at an animal in the woods, you might want the spotlight. And there's flood low, and here's the combination. So this is gonna have a little of both. Now here's the red, it's, this is the strobe mode, and here's the SOS mode. Of course, the sensor modes are going to look the same. So now I'll head outside and we'll check this out at distance. Okay, so I'm outside at night. It's dark, but it's not pitch black, but I'm 50 feet from these garage doors. Let me turn the light on. So here we have spot high, you can see it there. Now, of course, I can tilt this down so it's closer to in front of me, or I can point it forward. And here we have spot low, and here we have flood. So this is lighting up a wide part of the ground. There's flood low, and this is both. So you can see here we have the wide light with the spot in the middle. Now this is red. You wouldn't expect this to go a long distance. And here's the red flashing, and this is the SOS. So now I'm going to turn the tail light on flashing and I'll put it up near the garage. And here we have that flashing in the middle. It's really kind of hard to see on camera. It is actually a lot easier to see in person. I'll zoom in on it a little bit. So if I was driving down the road and someone had this on, I would easily be able to see that. So now I'm pointing the camera at my camper tire in the dark. Let's turn on the flood mode to see what it would look like if we had a flat tire and we had to change it. So you can see that really illuminates that whole tire. I can even point it down a little bit. There, it's even brighter now. So you can see the lug nuts had taken them off and then you could set them on the ground and you're not going to lose them easily with this much light. So that was the MyoZ rechargeable LED headlamp. I really like all the different modes on this. You have your spot and your flood and it also has that red light. So that covers all the bases. And then you have the regular and the sensor mode. And I've seen that feature on a number of headlamps. One thing I like about this one is the buttons are slightly tactile. Sometimes I forget which button I'm pushing, but I can tell that this one is round and this one is straight. So if I went up here to turn it on, just the regular mode. If I had it on the sensor side, I would think, oh yeah, that's the wrong button, and I could switch to the correct button. And this also rotates, so if you're using that spotlight, you may have it up high, pointing straight out, but maybe you're working on something up close, you can tilt it down and have that floodlight right in front of you. Now, since the headlight is up here and the battery is back here with the tail light, it gives a good balance, so it's not hanging down on your forehead, although it's very light anyway. And this elastic strap is very comfortable to wear. So if you're looking for a headlamp to use for things like camping, hiking, repair work, running, and other activities, I think this is a great option. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.